All right, we're continuing on in our Dataverse security series. We just finished talking about business units, and now we're going to talk a little bit about teams. And make sure you join us for the next few videos for more security topics. So a team is just a collection of users. This team can be assigned to a specific business unit, so it can be used to help with your security. And when you create a team, a default queue is created for it that you can use if you want to or you don't have to use it, but it's good to keep in mind. There are a few types of teams. The teams you're probably really familiar with is owner team. These are teams that can own rows, they can own records, and security roles can be assigned to them. And you can use that to kind of share views and dashboards and things like that. That's the usual team we're used to. We also have this idea of an access team, which facilitates an easier sharing of rows. Generally, I don't encourage using those, but they do exist. Then we have this new, somewhat new, new for old people like me who've been doing this for a while, uh, but we have these um, active directory security groups or active directory office groups that you can use to link your security with Active Directory or with Office, right? And this is really cool because then I can manage a lot of my security through Active Directory instead of needing to manage it in Dynamics. I can assign those team specific security roles and then when a person is added to that group in Active Directory, they're automatically added to that team inside Dataverse and then if that team already has a role, then they're good to go. If you wanna use security like this, I want you to look at this new permission called the Members Privilege Inheritance. So in the past, if you have existing security roles, this would have been set to team privileges only. The new update in the default is for direct user basic access level and team privileges. But if you have a system you've been using for a while, I encourage you to go in and look at this. But basically what this means is what type of access do they get if a security role is assigned to that team, right? So let's think back to the olden days. You have a team for all your users. You assign them the standard user role. You assign that to the team and you've assigned users to this team and they have no roles directly assigned to them. That user still wouldn't be able to do everything in Dynamics because the role is in the context of the team, right? So that means that they... If they tried to, let's say they had access to user-owned accounts, that would be accounts that the team owns, not the accounts that I own. So now if you update that setting to the direct user and team, that means that I would have access to things the team owns and access to teams I own. So that means that you could manage all of your security with teams if you wanted to. Or, like we said, you could manage it all the way with Active Directory groups because your Active Directory groups would control what teams they're on in Dynamics, which would control what roles they have, and those roles have access for the user. So I really encourage you to check that out and play around and see if you can get it to work. And that's a great way to kind of reduce some of the burden and things that you have to do as, as an administrator when a new user is added. So that's the really quick overview of Teams and join me next time for some more security topics.